This is a short video showing my latest fifth axis in action cutting on a curved form. I created this fifth axis to keep the cutter more or less perpendicular to the surface of the work. For a simple round nose cutter like this one that doesn't matter so much but uh, for different formed cutters it could make quite a difference. This simple form was turned on my wood lathe and then digitized and STL file created using Gerbil Group. This was exported to another program called Corn Lathe, which I used to design this simple pattern of sinusoidal curves. Corn Lathe created some G code, which was again processed through Gerbil Group and then I massaged it to add in the b-axis values that I needed to do what you see here. This entire project took about five minutes to cut. It's a 1 8 inch ball nose cutter at 30,000 RPM in a small router. As you can see, the cutter tip is maintained more or less perpendicular to the surface of the work. I use a lead screw to move this axis as it would give more rigidity to the turning forces generated by the router. As you can see, I've got simultaneous movement of the X, Z, A, and B axes. And this was my intention with this project, as opposed to moving one of the rotary axes at a time. Y doesn't come into play, obviously, in this, because I want to maintain the position over the, of the cutter over the center of the work. I hope you enjoyed the video.